Cancer, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for mid-October 2019. And I'll be starting you off with two oracle cards and then doing the reading and then ending it with two more oracle cards. And uh, these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box. Uh, that'll be taking a look into where your person is at in regards to you for mid-October. So, let's get you started with two of these. One from the Spirit Animal Oracle and one from the Sacred Travel... No. Yes. Let's let's do this one first. I, I do this at the end, but um, for some reason I picked it up now, so uh, I'll do this one for you now. From the Sacred Traveler Oracle. Alright, so you get the Moth Spirit. Surrender now. Now. As in now. Uh, far away places, get ready for new horizons. Oh my god, this is talking to me about huge transformation. I feel like it's attacking you. The universe is attacking you. And you're like, no. This feels like crap. That's why you get surrender now, because you're only going to make things worse. <laughs> if that's the case, if that's happening. Um, let's see. Let's see what's happening for you, Cancer. So, the overall energy here for the reading is the King of Wands. You're feeling good about yourself. I feel like this is you where um, you may be dealing with options here in love. And you're feeling flattered. You're feeling good. You're feeling like, oh man, I got it. You know? Uh, all these people want me? I must be the shit. You know, pretty much. Uh, that's what that's telling me, plus taking a sneak peek at um, your reading here. So, starting the, the reading off, love. Offer of love here. Uh, partnership is crossing it. This could be talking about uh, your workplace. Meeting some people at your workplace that want to start things with you. Um, your focus, you've got options and you know it and you're looking at them and you're like, uh, which one? But there is one. There is one that you're more inclined to go in with. Uh, in your recent past, you get the High Priestess, which is telling me that... Um, this is telling me that you did a lot of work here. Um, looking at the reading, the way it's spread out here on the table you've got here in your recent past and I'm gonna jump straight to the energy that you may not see you may not be aware where you have the hierophant here now these two are each other's person here uh, this is a very spiritual high highly spiritual couple here um, so there is one for you out there in all those options. You may not know it yet. You may not recognize it. You may not have uh, even met this person yet. But there is one here coming up for you. Your strength here is a connection to people coming together, forming this. In your immediate future, I feel like you'll be focusing on work a little bit. Um, you're you're taking small steps in a direction here that makes you feel very passionate you're unsure still you're like i i dig this i want this i'm gonna go for it but you're still in this uh kind of like beginner stage where you're you're going with it but you're still 
checking it out, you know, making up your mind about it. Again, in the energy that you may not be aware of, uh, the Hierophant is standing up here. I am proud. This could be talking about a very, very stable foundation here. Um, you're heading towards happiness here. You know, you're hoping for that, you're wanting that, you are heading that way because for your potential outcome, you get the magician. And who wouldn't manifest happiness for themselves? I would. I would be like, if, if that's the way it would work, I would be like, hey, I want to be happy for the rest of my life, you know? doesn't work like that really because everybody would be I think um, let's start clarifying let's do this three of pentacles here let's see what this is about it's really really windy outside and it's cold it's gotten so cold <sighs> eight months of winter coming or something like that you never know up in here um, yeah this king of wands person might be you may be dealing with a leo or a fire sign this is somebody that's very passionate i feel like this person is bringing in love to you um they're like I'm not getting the sense that for some of you it could be somebody that you already know but for a lot of you it's something new either their energy is new refreshing or it's just a new person in your life showing up here and taking you out on dates and doing all of that and you're like Whoa. you know well let's do the seven of cups your focus you're fighting off some sort of conflict here you're doing it right you are you know uh, either what the hell okay um, again Leo um, but there's 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 a lot of energies here involved in this reading uh, so it's you and then you're dealing with a whole lot of people here, you know, that are trying to get a piece of you, pretty much. You know, they 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 feel attracted by your energy. By it's like they can't help themselves. They're coming at you, but it's creating a lot of conflict for you. You know, you're having to choose which of these people are the right ones for me. And not only in uh, love here, you know, it could be friendships. It could be anything. Uh, you're going through this, what was that? Surrender now, transformation here, you know? Uh, you're choosing what's best for you at this time. And you're willing, you have that capacity. You're in this place right now where you're seeing it. But it's also creating a little bit of conflict because you're dealing with a lot, a lot of people, a lot of energies from the outside, you know, coming at you all at once. Oh, they all want me now? Oh, God damn it. You know, so, but you're, you're, you're doing it. <clears throat> well, let's see this, um, two of cups here. Yeah, now you get a Taurus coming up. There is... There's one person in your life that's very passionate. Uh, there's this, you have this drive, this sexual attraction towards them. You can't say no to them. You feel like, oh my God, this is it. There's another person here that offers you stability. They're the perfect picture kind of, perf uh, kind of person here for you, kind of connection that they can provide you. And you know that. You're just not taking action. You're following your intuition here. You're like yeah this person offers me this and it makes sense but man the other person is so freaking passionate how do i get rid of that you know there's a whole lot going on here for you 
again, flip the energies if you have to. This could be your, your person, your people you're dealing with, whoever you're thinking of the most. Let's do the um, Page of Wands here. See, I told you, there is this one person out of all of these people. Again, you're confused. You're looking at people. You're looking at options. You don't know which one to choose. You don't know what to do with who and why. And There is this one. There is one. And it's very passionate. Very beautiful. Very charming. You can't... This is the person for you. And you're throwing them in with everybody else, you know, making them an option, making them like, um, I don't know, but you do know, you do know this person is the only person that you know that you want to be with. Uh, you're not letting them go. What you're doing is you're mixing them up with everybody else when they shouldn't be there. This person belongs, you know, they have their own kind of cup there and it's your cup. You're just confused. Because you're making this look like it's natural. It's just like any other connection and it's not. And you know that, you know? You're not giving it the credit it deserves, <laughs> pretty much. Let's do the Hierophant in the Hidden Energies. Yeah, you keep walking away from this person. You're justifying it as, you know, they're young, they don't know, it's just sex, it's just... Mm, uh, mm. And you you keep walking away from them, and it makes you feel like crap. But you're still doing it. And this person is actually possibly in some sort of other realm. Uh, they're your wife, your husband already. You two are already, you know. That's why it's making you feel like crap. But you're justifying it. You're bringing all of these reasons. Like, oh, they're not. You know, it's just it's just me. It's not that big of a deal. No, they're young. They're immature. They don't know this. They don't know that. They suck. They. They don't. This is your person. That's why you feel like crap. You don't feel like crap if, you know, you leave somebody and you're like, no, we're just, you know, not a match. But this is touching you, you know, um, inside. This is this is not something that you can just be like, uh-uh. And you know that. Let me do the magician for your potential outcome. Again, doesn't have to be fire sign or earth sign, things like that. They embody that kind of energy. But this person that I'm talking about and that you know of, they embody a lot of fire, a lot of passion. All right? Yeah, you're, you're, you, keep, you keep hanging on to stability, to this person that brings stability for you. This is what you want to manifest. Um, I want slow movement. I want... To talk to this person that looks like everything is just perfect this is the perfect person for me that's what you're manifesting and um, you're manifesting something very specific and I'm not saying you're manifesting wrong you're missing the point you're manifesting something that looks good because society says so or friends say so or family says so you're not manifesting what's in your heart pretty much you're manifesting the picture perfect kind of thing you know when deep down in your heart it's it's it doesn't it doesn't match up you know with what you're manifesting this that's what i'm feeling like um it may look happy on the surface, but on the long run, I feel like it's not necessarily going to bring you happiness just because it looks perfect for others. So let's, um, you're not following your heart pretty much. That's the bottom line. That's, that's, that's it. Um, 
Okay, let's pull some cards from the universe here. Yeah, go within. I feel like you're confused. You're stuck in your head a lot these days. You're you don't know what to do. You don't know how to feel, how to act, how to anything anymore. And the universe is telling you just go within and look at things thoroughly and see what makes you happy pretty much. That's all you need to do. Cuz you're you're you know within you that something is making you happy. And outside of you, you're doing everything to go against that. That's why you feel like crap. That's why you're juggling. That's why you can't get out of your head. So just go with it, you know? Um, let's do two more Oracle cards. And we'll do, again, one from the Spirit Animal and one more from the Soul's Journey. And you get the buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. And you get um, from the animal, from the spirit of the animal, and you get envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Oh my God, this is awesome. Because that's true. That's so freaking true. So all you need to do is go within and find your challenges, your truth to the matter all right uh that's what i have for you cancer i think you'll do it i think you got everything you need to do it it's just everything coming at you at once uh might confuse you you know people wanting to date you wanting to offer you this and that and that and, that, nah, nah, nah. and you're like stop that's what you need to do because you need to go within so that's what's happening um i'll see you next time bye